welcome back to V Vlogs. Currently having some cereal. It is New Year's Eve, but by the time you're seeing this, it'll probably be New Year's Day, depending on how fast I can edit. That's the question. What, are you telling me to get it done now? Get it done. Don't underestimate my ability. I don't, I don't. So as you can tell by the title, we have been dealing with a bit of a mystery this December. It's something we've had to solve pretty much over Christmas and it has been solved, but we feel like this video would be fun if we walked you through each step of the way of us solving this equation. So throughout our New Year's Eve, we're gonna tell you small bits of the story. Maybe even you guys can start to piece it together, but by the end, we will do the big reveal and it'll all come together. And the funny thing is, this whole mystery is about nacho cheese. Not just any nacho cheese though. <laughs> You've probably seen this can before, probably about two years ago. See, we have a history with buying things that are way too big. And by we, I mean Jess. Her concept of measurements, whenever she's ordering anything online, immediately go out the window. She thought she was getting herself like a little tiny can of cheese, you know, just to dip some chips in. She enjoys going to the movies and getting some nacho cheese every now and then and some chips. But this showed up. Seven and a half pounds, yes, I did weigh it, of nacho cheese. As you can see with this nacho cheese, we've had it for a while and it's become kind of a joke. There's a little tiny expiry date right here and you can even see all the fingerprints all over it for how many times we've handled it. Ginormous. The size of your head. When Jesse got this, it was ridiculous and it was my go-to conversation starter whenever we had anyone come over just because of how ridiculous this was. And also this isn't the first time Jesse's ordered crazy things. I remember it was what, like 400 rice cakes by accident? Yeah. That we almost made our way through, but we couldn't. This, however, was something we dared not open. Hence why, if you can actually see on there, this thing's expired by about a year and a half now. So, into the main part of the story. A few days, um, before Christmas or was it after Christmas? Before Christmas. It was before Christmas. Everything's been a blur. We've had a lot of family gatherings. We've had a lot of events even leading up to all of these. It's been nuts. I was cleaning through the house, getting it ready. We keep our vacuum kind of in the laundry room in a closet. And I looked on the top shelf, here was cheese. And I was thinking, you know what? Jessie probably hit it because she doesn't want me bringing it out again during any of the family events. I drive her nuts with this kind of thing. Didn't think much of it. And as I was cleaning up, I thought, you know what? That shelf's a little precarious. Let's put this away. So I go, I take it to the pantry and there was a little bit of a surprise waiting for me. A second can of cheese was still in the pantry. That we did not order. We did not order it and it, Took my brain a second because I was thinking, it's like, there's no way Jesse bought two of these and I was only showcasing one. I would showcase them both because this is ridiculous. And here's the thing, the cheese was $30. So there's no way I'm gonna be buying another one once we had one already. You've learned your it lesson. was expensive. So I know we only had one and the expiry date showed that we had the one and then. I'm not sure if you can read this one here, but this one is not expired yet, 2025. So it's a new can. It is a can that is three years newer. We have a mystery on our hands here. If you've been watching me for a while, you know I've done videos about glitches in the matrix. And a lot of people, when this happens to them, there have been scenarios where they find doubles of items in their house. So when you first found those two, for a second, I was like, oh my gosh, are we experiencing some glitch where the nacho cheese has decided to double. And it's kind of funny because it's like, if the universe is doing this to us, why would they choose the one item? See, it'd be great <laughs> if we could have like, you know, double of something that we would actually eat. Exactly. I, I can't eat these. <laughs> So if it is the universe just pulling that stuff on us, it's just rubbing it in our face at this point. But if it is a double, it has to be the exact same. And it'd be covered with fingerprints from me bringing it out and all that and stuff. And the, the date would be the same. Yes. So she showed up at our house. I don't know when, I don't know how. Or who. Or who. Basically we knew that, you know, this cheese has been in that closet for a while. I had seen it for a bit, but I didn't really think much of it. It was only the day of cleaning before Christmas that I decided to move in. And that's when we had this grand realization. It got into our house somehow. We've had a lot of events in A December. lot of events and a lot of people know of this cheese. I bring it out all the time. So it's a matter of who did it, when did they do it? And the timeline was basically a handful of weeks between when I first noticed it in that closet and the day that we actually realized. We had some scrubbing to do. So we're gonna go about our New Year's a little bit. I'm gonna finish eating my cereal and we'll get back to you with the second part of the story very soon because we did do some digging and we have a lot to show you guys. We're about to sit down to watch some movies. 
things because we're not going out just in case Mandy has her baby. We're home, we can get to the hospital, all is good. So we've been pretty much binge watching Stranger Things for the past like month or so. And we have, I think two episodes left, right Ty? But the very last one is two and a half hours. So it's basically like two movies. So we're gonna watch that probably for most of the afternoon. And then we're going to start watching The Hunger Games. Obviously we've seen them before, but I haven't seen them in probably like five years. And we wanna watch those before we watch the like newest movie, which I heard is a musical and I'm kind of not too excited about that, but I'll give it a chance, okay? I like Les Mis, so if I like that, maybe I'll like this. So yeah, that's what we're doing today. And once we watch a couple of the Stranger Things episodes, we'll get back to you on the next part of the mystery. Okay, it's a couple hours later. We only finished one Stranger Things episode, but we got pizza. It's pizza time, which means part two of the story that Ty's gonna tell while I eat my pizza. I'm not allowed to eat my pizza right Let's, now. Apparently. Should we put it on the cornflakes? It works for me, but it's probably gonna be too short for you. We have tripods, Jess. I know, but there's no time for that. As we've mentioned many times before, we have security cameras installed all around our house. We've shown footage of these security cameras, one with, I think, someone doing a delivery and they were tossing our boxes, yeah. which was very unpleasant. I think we've had like weird orbs on our cameras as well as seeing like just massive amounts of wildlife. So we started scrubbing through all the angles and we kind of limited it down from all of the events that we were having to one of the first winter events that we had, our friend's Christmas party. We were looking through, looking through, seeing when everybody was arriving and trying to see, it's like maybe they might've snuck it in. And we do have footage and we will put it up. Don't worry, I did ask everybody, it's okay to show this. And they were aware that these cameras were there. They're in very obvious positions. We were looking at like bags just to see which ones would be big enough to hold what is basically a paint can size cheese. So we're looking through that I and they this- bags, right? They did. Well, they were staying over. It was overnight bags. Could have been snuck in there. And this entire time, as we were doing this investigation, I was actively talking with my friends like in Discord, basically trying to figure out who did this. And they among themselves were bickering and pointing the fingers at everybody. You need to read it. Which one of you rascals hit a seven pound can of cheese in my closet? <laughs> Memes, gifts, and finger pointing ensued with everything going on. We tried to figure out, maybe this could have been it, but it's not really much evidence. We used to have a Furbo, of course, looking at that closet, and when we finally discovered the cheese, it was when the Furbo overwrote the footage of that night. It only stays for seven days. It stays for seven days, and we found this like two weeks after the fact. You gotta think about it though. So the cheese is high up there. The cheese was high up on the shelf, which means- Well, I did mention- It needs to be someone tall who did it. That we've already limited down to the people taller than five feet, 10 inches. Unfortunately, people shorter than that can't really reach. So we needed to figure out who did it. Was it an inside job? Or were people working in groups and just trying to figure it out? So in order to limit it down, cause we would have had to look through five hours of footage and we were doing this in the middle of all of our Christmas festivities with my family, albeit gave us a lot of entertainment. I was enjoying this. So we looked through and we were checking to see at what time were doors opening and closing throughout the night, trying to remember when we saw people going out maybe for some fresh air, just for a walk around, but we didn't have exact times. We had some research to do. We did find something, but we'll show you guys that in a little bit. Before we get into the finale of this uh, trilogy of a story, we did make a promise, I believe. 10 last, months ago? It was 10 months ago, that's yeah. when we started it. We did a reading snake and we said we were going to present it in the new year. So by the time you're watching it, it is the new year. Wait, we have to roll the clip of how small it was. It was pretty small. Yes. Just start walking back. Just start, just, just start walking back. Just, just keep going. <laughs> Keep going. This is going to be keep, a little keep while. Keep going now. Keep going. Keep oh going. my gosh. This, keep, guys, this is how many books I read this year. Keep, keep going. Each color just, represents a book. Just, just keep going. <laughs> keep going. Still? There we go. Oh so, my gosh. Sit this on the ground here. Thomas is going to want to eat it. That's crazy. Yeah. So I read a hundred books or just over. Just over, but we... We finished it off at we, 100. We capped about 100. Yeah. And um, each color is for a different genre. Black means I got halfway and decided to DNF it. Uh, but that's our snake. Uh, you know, about 30 feet. You did a really good job. I now know how to knit, apparently. Magnificent, onto the story. beautiful. So. 
hours of scrubbing through our security footage, both Jess and I, looking at different angles to try and figure it out. We finally got- The culprits. The culprits. On it camera. It was a group effort. They thought they were being clever about it. They said, you know what? We've been inside for a while, let's go get some fresh air. So they go. But we did notice one thing in the security that I think was what uh, caught us on to it, was uh, their fresh air led them to behind the car in one of the angles. Yep. And then when they started working their way in, unfortunately, they were brandishing seven pounds of cheese before they came <laughs> to the door. Trying to figure I it out. I do commend them though, trying the tried and true, jamming it underneath their jacket to sneak it in. But we didn't Albeit, see it. We did not see it, so they did succeed. We presented the evidence to the tribunal of the Discord server. Needless to say now, the war has begun. We now have two things of cheese. To hide. To hide in anyone's abode. Anyone's tumness. He's backing away from you like, don't do it. <laughs> it's already in your house, buddy. But I think we can one-up it a little bit, albeit. This right here was hilarious. I thought it was great, and as we mentioned to everybody, it gave us a lot of much needed entertainment during the stress of running between different family members' houses. I think we need to start sending some very cryptic, nacho covered letters to each of my friends. And you haven't played Skyrim at all, no. but uh, we can give something very similar to the Dark Brotherhood where you get them like a, we can get like a nice cheesy hand <laughs> on a note and just put we know on the inside. For people who've played Skyrim or any of the Elder Scrolls games, you know what I'm talking about. The prank war. Be warned. Is about to begin. Be oh, I've warned. already warned them, but they don't know which cheese they're gonna get. The old one or the I new one? I think they're gonna get the old one. The expired one? Well, I think the, the new one is one that we actually should use because I was saying that we would use this, it expired. It might explode. But I think the next party we do, which is usually our summer party, I think we might be doing a nacho cheese table, so. Or we use the expired one and get them back. Ew. Oh no, this house would need to be like scrubbed to That's Florida. Disgusting. Like Florida ceiling if we ever <laughs> open that thing. Anyways, we hope you enjoyed our nacho cheese saga. Never in my life did I think we'd make a whole video about nacho cheese. But I mean it's a mystery. There you go, there's our cheese story. We're gonna go and watch Hunger Games now. We just finished Stranger Things. It is so sad. I cried. You always do. I cry at everything. Anyways, Hunger Games. I hope you guys had a good New Year's Eve and a happy new year. And check and your closets for cheese. Check your closets for cheese. Bye guys. See you guys.